Yo, what's going on YouTube? Malik here, back with another video, and I'm gonna say this before the video even starts. Ichigo, Naruto, then Luffy. That's order of power, not being biased. I clearly see that Ichigo's gonna win this, because Ichigo's just a different breed. There's no way he just doesn't steamroll Naruto and Luffy at the same time, so here's why Naruto versus Luffy versus Ichigo isn't even close. Bam. Man. Let's get into it. Clap. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man! For this versus battle, Dang. I'm going to be taking the characters at their Turns peak and giving right. them what I believe is the highest but most reasonable tier of power. It yep, should okay. already be given that these characters' baseline are planetary and FTO, which I will elaborate more in the video as yeah, well. Yeah. Just know for people that believe that it's impossible for these characters to be in this tier of power and it's impossible for them to destroy planets or some cringe argument like on some like Goku's only planet level BS. I'm sorry, go cry somewhere else. I really don't want to hear it, bro. Facts. And the same thing applies to the people who think that Naruto, Luffy, and Ichigo are like multiversal and they can beat Goku into. Oh, yeah. Oh, I cannot stand those like wankers of saying, like, it's the, the main one that I hear all the time on TikTok is Naruto is outerversal or universal multiversal, which is pure delusion. Uh, it's straight delusion. It's not Naruto it has infinite speed. What does that even mean? Absolutely not. Let's keep, let's keep going. Individually. For these individuals, please do me a favor and just get off the video. I do not want to deal with you in the comments. But with that out of the way, let's do it! <laughs> Okay. Now, I'm going to start off Bear with Naruto. Naruto first, because for some reason, people think I hate Naruto and I'm biased towards One Piece when literally that's just not true. I have made claims okay. that I probably wouldn't agree with now, but I mean, that's just kind of how it is with arguments constantly changing over time. That's but true. But Naruto at his best would upscale from characters like Kaguya with her truth-seeking orbs being capable mm. of Kaguya destroying planets. crazy Based strong Shiki too. Like are very, also very strong. Otsutsuki's in general? Like this, who weaker versions of Naruto could deal with? Even after his chakra being drained and Sasuke using a lot of his chakra after teleporting everyone mm -hmm. to the battlefield, they were making Momoshiki baby hey. rage during their battle. Momoshiki hey. was capable of absorbing okay. Kaguya's dimension, which included things like stars and celestial bodies. Naruto, at best, without being disingenuous, could be in the solar system range, but for sure he's at least at higher least, than large stars. Yeah. And again, okay. for those who think Kaguya Oh, and people that say that, it's usually on the TikTok side, people say that, uh... TikTok One Piece fans that say that Naruto at best is planetary and they wank Luffy to like solar system and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm like, bro, what kind of bias takes are these? Oh, yeah. Shiki are universal. Please click off this video and have Wait, a horrible. For those who think Kaguya and Momoshiki are universal, yeah. please click off this video not. and have a horrible day. Not. As for speed, well, Momoshiki absorbing said stars would have to require at least MFTL plus speeds, which is consistent since even before Naruto entered the war, he was way into light speed and got amped to a ridiculous degree. True. Baron Mo Naruto would fart on Momoshiki, so he'd obviously upscale from these feats. Mm -hmm. As for hacks, well, Naruto obviously <laughs> Yo, can clone himself like a thousand That's funny. times over, has multiple <laughs> forms of Duraneg with Magnet Release, Ross and Shuriken, and Truth Seeking Orbs, which I will give him for this battle. Truth Seeking Orbs are capable of not only destroying your body, but also your soul, as we yeah. see Minato's ghost not having I wonder, arm. so since Minato's like that, so is he chilling in the afterlife with no arms? If so, man, that's just unfortunate. <laughs> Imagine going to the afterlife with no limbs. <laughs> that, that's to tough. Being hit with a truth seeking orb on top of all of this he can attack from all ranges essentially has mastery over every basic chakra nature precognition enhanced senses and can fly which weirdly enough these three are all capable of doing yeah. naruto is a beast but is he himothy Timothy, not Next up, we got my goat Luffy. Monkey D. Monkey Luffy D. is a Luffy. character I have discussed on the channel before, I like that so I'll so make much. this section very brief. Old Whitebeard can destroy the entire One Piece world, which has been calculated to be at small star. Luffy. Huh? Whitebeard can destroy the entire. He has enough power to destroy the world. So how do you get him to star? Huh? Wait. One Piece world, which has been. Okay. How would that get someone a star when it's the... Okay. 
calculated to be at small star. Luffy in gear 5 scaling to Kaido, who's okay. relative to this white beard, bare minimum, would scale to this, and due to upscaling from his earlier versions that can dodge light, and use gear 2, which is a 10 times multiplier, and then gear 4, which is at least 3 times higher than gear 2. Mm -hmm. Plus, Luffy legit surpasses his gear 4 self in base 2 times in the series, once in Whole Cake and again in Wano, meaning bare minimum, Luffy is definitely <laughs> whole cake? in the MFTL plus range, in, which is over 1,000 times into light speed as for hacks the most important things to know going 1000 times into light speed yo fiction makes no sense that fiction makes literally no sense how are you a thousand times faster than light like physics alone is just out the window because that wouldn't even make sense but it's fiction after all so like that's uh because if you're that you couldn't be able to like that, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking too much. Are, I'm, I'm future thinking sight, much, advanced man. armament, and conquerors, which can hit through characters' durability. However, we know that he can't just one-shot characters way stronger than him, as Kaido was taking a bunch of Duraneg attacks due to being built different. Mm -hmm. And one can argue, <laughs> but, hockey, but for these versus oh, battles, Oh, I hate... I'm sorry for pausing it. Actually, it's a point of reaction. Yo, so on TikTok, I bring up TikTok a lot because I post on TikTok, and these brand that uh, Luffy fans... Jeez, they keep or One Piece fans. They say that, well, this character can't hit that character because he doesn't have hockey. Like, bro, come on. Everybody knows like you can hit them, or especially the the whole Logia thing. I'm like, yo, you gotta be some kind of brain that the thing these characters can't hit Logia characters. Like, come on, it, come on. Really equalize the energies to make things simple and not get into those. Oh, he doesn't have chakra, or oh, they technically can't see Ichigo. Come on, guys, we are past this buffoonery. Come on, this buffoonery. is caveman stuff. Come on, let's keep evolving. Gear 5's Toon Force and wacky abilities are obviously factors that could give Luffy the edge if he's especially significantly above his opponents. Mm -hmm. Lastly, we have Ichigo My Kurosaki, boy Ichigo. who is another character I've talked about, but not nearly as much as Luffy. Ichigo, by the end of Blood War, is basically the who remembers the belt arc? Being above that arc was so world. trash. The I thought it was like a real thing. But it wasn't. It was so soul bad. Society passively with his bankai, which represents the living world, and we know in the same place there's a night and day cycle, meaning there are also stars in the soul society. This argument yeah. is a little shaky for a lot of people, but this is pretty much the bare bones planetary bleach scaling, besides using the movie stuff, which I don't really like doing. But we're gonna be using it anyway. The reason why oh, it's a little okay. shaky is because we don't know the exact time frame of when Yamamoto was going to destroy the entire soul society. I would assume that because they kept threatening that it would destroy the soul society maybe it was going to happen over a short period of time but we can't really just depict a i need to catch up in however bleach. generally I'm also watching one piece accept this as, as of right now and characters like butterfly and then attack on time just came back he should scale above this version with uh, ichigo scaling above them tens of GGs. times over due to his increase in power and even in the second movie which is canon and explain senna releases all the energy at once okay uh Oh. Okay. Explosion goes off that is strong enough to destroy a small star, which you can get up to solar system through upscaling with the multipliers in the series. Yeah, which I'll just true. get into now because I have brought this up in my previous Bleach videos, and this also kind of helps me get through Ichigo's AP and speed at the same time. So let me cook. The difference between Shikai and Bankai <laughs> okay. is a 10 I'm times you difference. Cook. You cook. The Hollow Mask, along with any of Ichigo's other significant power ups, would have to be at least a 10 times increase since they are implied to be more significant than Bankai. And we know this because even forms like Vasto Lorde, which isn't even Ichigo's strongest form, is unlike anything that Uryu's ever seen before. And guess what, guys? He just keep getting stronger and stronger. Now, the I went over as to why this applies to AP because, you know, it's all based on destroying a small star in the second movie, which is canon. But what about speed? Well, to put it no, simple, Ichigo's I mean, we just take all these multipliers. And that flash up, when I first saw it, I'm like, yo, bro just teleported. But it's not teleporting, it's speed. I'm like... Yeah, dang man. Just applied to Ichigo in the Soul Society arc, who should upscale from this guy. That flash up is no joke. Actual beam of light. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, Ichigo pre Soul Society is apparently implied to be blocking spiritual light, and even yeah. the homeless Espada are shooting light speed attacks. Like, 
it's true. pretty common knowledge that these characters are well into light speed. Yep. As for hacks, well, I mean, we know in Bleach, characters are just dinking each other's souls, and if characters aren't up to par, then their souls are literally getting blinked away by the opponent. For this battle, I'll say that Ichigo can't do that if he's capable of doing so, and instead, I'll just say that his soul hacks is mainly going to be applied with his Ryatsu, and if his attacks connect, then yes, it would affect their soul. Aside from that, okay. he's resisted the likes of Aizen's attacks, which affect your soul on an atomic level, and can even resist Aizen's Ryatsu, which erases people's very existence if you're weaker than him. Huh? As precog thanks to Kisuke's training, plus insane senses that similar part. to our other combatants. Let's get ready to rumble! It's clear looking at it initially that Luffy is sadly not holding up to par to the other two with their peak scaling. Solar Luffy I think is a big reach and at best for now we can only say he's well into star level. Luffy That's may fair. be down, however he wouldn't be complete- I would say max planetary, but hey, that, that's just me. I say max planetary. Uh, out saying. as his Duraneg and speed to keep up with them could be factors for him maybe winning. However, due to Naruto's insane regen plus Ichigo's insane power gap, I really don't think these factors matter all that much. And at mm -hmm. best, Luffy would be relative with Naruto if you believe that Solar System is a reach for Naruto, and you can only say that he's star -like. Solar still Okay, so what I have these characters at, right? I'd say Luffy's planetary. I'd say naruto be planetary or like large planetary is that that's even a thing but like something like slightly above planet, uh, uh, slightly oh my god something slightly above planetary and then i have ichigo at like solar plus that's what i have him at regardless naruto scaling is just more valid and Ichigo is the only one out of the three, in my opinion, who has scaling that's concretely into solar system level yeah. due to the amount of amps he gets in the series. And with these increases, I wouldn't be surprised if Ichigo was faster than them. However, relative or not, Ichigo mm -hmm. would just be so much more powerful than the other he two would. that his Ryatsu would just turn them into pixie dust. <laughs> in terms of soul hacks, there's really no way to say that these two have any way of resisting what Ichigo has, especially with the gap in AP. Like, That's Bleach true. is literally known for their spiritual stuff. Trying to say Naruto and Luffy would outdo them in this department is silly. If these Very three are moving silly. in to clash at each other in a three-way struggle, then Ichigo is more than likely able to neg both of them in just one swing with the sword bro is literally the charmander of this versus battle ichigo slaps them both stay mad also it doesn't matter one that's a that's a good reference all right boys um let me guys know your your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll uh, catch you guys next one peace bye bam bye